This is Christian Staples with Art Expos. We've come up with these instructional videos to review what we went over with you as far as taking care of your hot tub and the operation of your hot tub when it was delivered. So if you have any questions, you can use these videos to go back and reference once again and review. Today I want to go over our mineral purifier system. This is the same thing that we explained to you when we delivered your tub, but just as a review, we'll just go over it again. And remember, the mineral purifier makes it so you only have to use chlorine just once a week, typically in your spa. So it makes the spa a lot easier to maintain. It's a lot uh, more comfortable to uh, sit in. And you don't have the chemical smell, the dry skin, burning eyes, all that stuff. A couple main products that we use. We have the non-chlorine shot called Refresh, the Adjust Down, which lowers your pH, and then the uh, Arctic Pure Boost, and then of course the Mineral Purifier. Okay, if you have an Arctic Spa with the active skim filtration, to install the Mineral Purifier, you simply lift up the skimmer, and then place the Mineral Purifier right directly on top of the filter. So there's really no right or wrong place of putting it, just set it directly on top, and then replace the, uh, the skimmer on top of that. If it's an open filter like this one, don't put this down inside the middle. You'd want to actually put it inside the basket. So if you have a, a, some type of a skimmer basket like this that sits on top of the filter, that's where that mineral purifier would want to go. What we want to do is we want to have lots of water flow going over this mineral purifier because the mineral purifier uses copper and silver and zinc to destroy the bacteria. So just by having it on top of the filter, it allows that water to go past it and that bacteria to be destroyed. So on a weekly basis, what we want to do is we want to test your water first. Okay, so after you dip the test strip in your water for one second, it does take about 15 seconds for it to react, and then you want to compare the colors against the back of the bottle. Since we're using the mineral purifier, we don't have to maintain a, a chlorine level in your tub, so we're not really worried about what that level is. The next one is bromine. We're definitely not using bromine, so you don't have to worry about that one at all. The third one is the alkalinity, and the alkalinity we only want to worry about if it's really high or really low. But the one that we do want to concentrate on and worry about is the pH. And so the pH needs to be in this ideal range here of 7.2 to 7.8. However, we know that the pH is going to tend to drift up over time. And so if we can keep it at the bottom end of this okay range, we'll, it will give us a bigger buffer before it gets too high. So we really want to keep it between 7.2 and 7.5. So if your pH is at 7.5 on the scale here, we would actually want to add a half a capful of the adjust down and you just take and measure it out and then broadcast it into the tub. Make sure pump one is running whenever you add anything to the tub so that it's uh, filtering and mixing up the water. If your pH is a little bit higher, if it's at 7.8 or higher, we'd actually add one full capful of the adjust down to, uh, to your tub. Now if you have an all weather pool, you'd actually want to change that uh, dosage by three. So uh, you'd use a cap and a half, it's at 7.5 and three capfuls if it's at uh, 7.8 or above. Okay, with the Arctic Pure Boost, you want to add a half a capful once a week. The chlorine is going to naturally dissipate within about 24 hours. And when you add it to the water, just take and broadcast it out into the tub and make sure the pump one is running so that it's circulating and, and filtering the water. Now anytime you have a whole bunch of usage and you want to add another dosage of the boost just to prevent the water from going cloudy, that's always a good idea. Just do another half a cap full. And if you do uh, find that your water does go cloudy, you'd want to do another dosage uh, as well to help get that water back to clear. Now the refresh you would add uh, after every use. So if you use it three times a day, you're going to add three capfuls a day. Just one capful after every uh, time you use the tub. I hope you've enjoyed these videos as a review on how to take care of your hot tub and how to operate it. If you have any more questions, please feel free to give us a call at 801-483-1001. Send us an email at support at artexposutah.com or go to our support webpage at artexposutah.com support.